B2 Nation, what's up? You know me, I'm Kevin. And today I wanna to talk about instrument meteorological conditions, or IMC for short. During your flight experiences as a pilot, you're gonna run into maybe a situation that is unexpected, which is why you train for it during your 40 hours before you become a private pilot. In this particular situation, when I was pretty low on hours still and basically a noob, I actually ended up flying into low visibility conditions. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it was scary. And I know for a fact that every year there are pilots out there that basically kill themselves flying into IMC conditions as private pilots. So I kind of want to go over my experience. Maybe somebody can take away a lesson and, you know, save themselves and kind of be confident and comfortable in an IMC situation should you happen to fly in it. Before we get into this video, I want to make it very clear what you're about to see was not done on purpose. This is 100% based off of my personal experience of me flying into IMC. So without further ado, let's take a look at the clip. So right here, you can see I'm actually just getting into the IMC. Very thick clouds, no visibility on the outside. And uh, you can probably imagine how a lot of people can get scared when they can't see on the outside, especially when you're like a new pilot under 500 hours. Um, right now though is not the time to panic. My first instinct was not to panic. You have to make very sure that you are 100% focused on your six pack instruments at this point, right? So the first thing I did here was I was focused on the vertical speed indicator or the VSI because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going up or down and I was remaining at a level flight. First and foremost, you have to establish level flight before you can worry about anything else. All right. I also want to make sure you take a look at your turn coordinator or your TC. And after looking at your turn coordinator, you want to also want to make sure that you're looking at your airspeed. Um, your first instinct is going to be either to pull up or push down. Don't do any of that. Maintain straight and level flight first, then you can worry about everything else. Okay. You just have to make sure you trust your instruments. And then I'm also looking at the altitude because we have to make sure that we are, we are maintaining altitude. If you're pushing down or you're pulling up, your altitude is gonna change and you are more liable to stall if you're pulling back on that yoke. So be very careful. Do not panic once you get into the IMC conditions, all right? So you can see here, I'm exiting the IMC and I can see the ground again, all right? At this point, I'm still 500 feet too high to be legal, right? So I made sure I got down to my legal altitude. I'm actually looking at my four flight as well to kind of um, gauge how high the ceilings are here. So I'm looking at my four flight, I'm coming out of the clouds and I am super relieved to be out of the clouds. I did end up making a, a landing not too far from where I'm at right now and uh, ended up being on my merry way afterwards with a better plan and better preparation. But the reason I'm sharing this video with you is, you know, not to instill panic into anybody, but to make sure that you are calm, cool, and collected and understand the risks that are associated with going into IMC. Like I said, I would never do this on purpose unless I was IFR certified with the IFR flight plan, of course, which I'm not. I am a private pilot, not IFR certified. And on this particular day, the clouds just popped up and I ended up making my way out of it. A lot of other people are not that fortunate and I say that to make sure that you are doing proper flight planning. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Next video is coming soon. The plane is almost back. I am excited. Uh, we had to get the firewall fixed. So stay tuned and I will see you next time.